It's my life. It's now or never. Hi, this is Shelly Seven with Matchmaker Sports Media. We're here today with Coach Ron Gold. Ron, how are you today? Wonderful, wonderful. Well, this is my first time meeting Coach, and we're up here at Cal Berkeley. And I was just asking Coach some questions that I always ask all the coaches. Why do you do this? What's important to you? And one of the things that Coach shared with me is how he raised himself with not having, uh, having his parents there with him for reasons that uh, I'll let him talk about. Coach, can you give me a little bit of background? You know, I started out from Arizona mm -hmm. and uh, grew up, uh, it was five of us in the household. Uh, it was, it was uh, started out with my, my mom and, and my so-called my stepfather. And uh, my mom got killed in a car accident. And uh, so when she, when she got killed, all the kids just kind of disappeared. Mm -hmm. We went our separate ways. And uh, for me, I, I, um, I went to my grandmother's house. I moved in with, with, with her, and it was in a two-bedroom. Um, and it was myself, my brother, uh, cousin, and then two uncles, and my, plus my grandmother, all living in a two-bedroom house. Uh, my biological father was in prison um, for, he was a drug dealer. Mm -hmm. And so uh, my mom actually left my father. She had no idea what was going on. And so she had left my father. Uh, when my mom got, remar got married, uh, my stepfather, he was around until she got killed, and then we all disappeared. We all went our separate ways. Um, I lived with grandmother, and then I had actually wasn't old enough to work, mm -hmm. and I, I actually lied on the application so I could become a busboy so I could bring home for my, uh, bring, bring money home to my grandmother. So you just mentioned to me that uh, you lied on an application because your mom passed away, was killed in a car accident. Um, let me ask you, how old were you? 14 years old um, when my mom got killed in a car accident. Um, and she was really uh, the breadwinner, uh, the family. And, and uh, she and I actually were really, really close. And she, in fact, she called me her good luck charm. Mm -hmm. And so um, what I would do is I would leave school and I would catch the bus on the other side of town so I could ride home with my mom. Mm. And so, so she was very, very precious to me. And, uh, but uh, yeah, but I, I lied on the application. I, I wanted to make sure that I was able to provide a little bit for grandma. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so I'll never forget, I worked at this uh, Mexican restaurant. Um, I was a bus boy and, uh, and I had a little bike uh, where that I had to paddle, I don't know, about three miles. It seemed mm -hmm. forever. Mm -hmm. but. Um, I, had to, I had to ride my bike, and I never, I'll never forget the one time when uh, my, my, my pedal broke. Mm. So I'm pedaling one leg trying to get home at 11 o'clock. Oh, wow. And so <laughs> it was, you know, it was tough, but I didn't really, um, it wasn't really an issue, mm -hmm. um, because my whole purpose was trying to provide for Grandma. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you do what you have to do to make sure that you meet the needs that you have in your life, right? Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, I, I think as this thing got going, when I lived with Grandma, my father had got out of prison. I wanted to be with him. Mm. And so I went and moved in uh, with him, and that was only for a brief moment because he went back to prison. And so what I ended up doing was running away and going over to my uncle's house, my mom's brother's home. So I lived with him for a brief stint, and that's when I met uh, a Jewish guy. Mm -hmm. And to this day, I call him my brother. And uh, he and I went through high school together. Mm -hmm. and, and what we did is we worked, um, we paid rent. Um, his father actually moved out of the house and left everything for us. And uh, we never knew how we were gonna eat every day. Um, I had a friend that worked at Kentucky Fried Chicken. Mm -hmm. I had another friend that worked at Hardee's, which is a fast food restaurant. And I had another buddy that worked at Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. And they would, they would let me know the days that they would be working. Mm -hmm. 
and then the days that they were working, then I would I would go by there mm -hmm. and then get some food. Right. If they weren't working, then that means I wouldn't eat. Right. Um, because the majority of our money went on paying the rent, um, went on paying for electricity bill. Mm -hmm. um, during the winter time, um, we would we would keep the heat off because we couldn't afford it. Right. Mm -hmm. And then during the summertime, we wouldn't turn the air on because we couldn't afford that. Right. You know, there were times when we would actually sleep outside because it was cooler to sleep outside right. um, in Arizona. I was just gonna say that. Oh, yeah. I was just gonna say that, right? So, so, so we would sleep outside because mm -hmm. it was a lot cooler, and it was, you know, we did what we had to do. Um, I never missed a day of school, mm -hmm. and the reason why I didn't miss was because I didn't want the child protective services mm -hmm. to come and get involved. Right. And so it allowed me to, you know, continue to stay focused, go to school, play football, and, uh, and, and be involved in sports. It's my life.